So we have a weekend with the moon in Cancer. Well, that's the 9th and the 10th of September. When does it go into Leo? Okay, it goes into Leo at half past five-ish in the evening in the UK. So that's something. Um, not that I have anything against moon in Cancer because obviously I love Cancerians. Um, but I just feel like it's going to be a bit of an emotional one. So let me know. Also, of course, it's very hot in a lot of places, including the UK, which is incredibly unusual at this time of year. Um, so it may just be that you're kind of um, having a staycation at home in, you know, the back bedroom that's dark or something like that. You're just shielding from the heat. Also, of course, nice cantherian, nice cantherian things to do. Thank you, Mercury. Um, is baking, cooking, anything to do with homemaking, anything to do with family, all of that stuff is really, I'm just going to push this back a minute, is really good, okay? So a kind of pottering, you know, a quiet pottering. Um, I might make some gluten-free cakes and have a new stand mixer. I've never had a stand mixer, so I'm very excited about it. You know, I bought this stand mixture, 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 because um, there was a very good discount on it. I knew people, I knew what I was doing. I was buying a electrical product during Mercury retrograde, and I thought to myself, and this is the folly that comes to us, isn't it, during Mercury retrograde, um, I thought, let's see. It should be all right. It's a KitchenAid. It's a mini KitchenAid. And you know what they're like. They're really posh. And there was this incredible offer. I thought, my God, I have to have it. It's a mini KitchenAid. I do loads of baking and I've wanted one my entire life. And of course, it's fine. It's beautiful, in fact. We take it out of the wrapping and the cable's really short. And there isn't a plug in this kitchen, even though I have one, two, three, four different sets of double plugs. Anywhere that I want to plug it in, it won't reach. That's what Mercury Retrograde does. It's always something you can't even think of. You're like, oh, I've got to jump through that hoop. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Mercury. <sighs> So we'll see. I think I'm going to, because I, I work on this table and I don't really have a plug near this table. So I think I'm actually going to get an electrician in. Not while Mercury's retrograde though. No thanks. But when it's not, and I'm going to get a plug, extra plug put on. I know, some things are worth doing. Wow. We got some decent cards for the weekend. Let me know your plans. Let me know, just for the lols what you have done when Mercury's been metrograde. Have you signed a really important contract? Have you bought a massively expensive piece of electrical equipment? You know what I mean, said yes to an ex, whatever it is, let me know, let's commiserate together. We've got a very strong reading today. Very, woof, I saw you at the bottom tower. Oh, it's not the tower, it's the devil, oh. Devil's at the bottom. I feel like it needs to be included. I don't know why. Um, mm. That devil card energy, didn't we have that yesterday? We've had it quite a while, haven't we? It's been threading, bobbing and weaving and threading in and out. This is folk lady who's now taken up surfing, okay? She's catching a wave. Um, oh, yes. I was doing parcels, this is another Mercury thing, and it's when you reach for the sellotape with those teeth, did my thumb. Brilliant. Um, Devil card's been bobbing and weaving with the Seven of Swords for the last six weeks. There is some latent energy. There is something we're supposed to know about and it's underneath the surface and it'll be different things for different people and the universe is like poking it with a stick and then we see it move and we're like oh what was that 
It's a bit like when you think there's a mouse in the house, you know, not just a euphemism for underwear. When you think there's a mouse in the house and you, it's like, did you hear it? Did you hear it? There was the scrabbling. And then it all dies down. It's a bit like that. So you may have been getting hints of things. Either way, big old change is on the horizon and I quite like it. So with the devil card, we get the death card. I know, it, this is spiritual big jobs. I'm declaring spiritual big jobs on the whole season, okay? But I actually like this energy. We're leading into Scorpio season. I know that we haven't had Libra season, but these readings seem to be going towards what's happening in the um, eclipses. So death and the devil, you can fairly say we've got a bit of strong energy knocking around there, haven't we? I know, you're like, do you think, Gemma? Like, yes, I do. Um, and we have the Ace of Swords, which of course is the epiphany. So I like this, we're getting an epiphany, just like we think we can hear the mouse. And then when you're on the edge of thinking, ooh, it goes. Let it go, let it come back in. It's like waves coming in and back. Something is happening, a tide goes in or out. It doesn't do it straight away because it would be awful if it did. It does it gradually. Something is gradually happening. We're in a very kind of sea um, metaphor type thing because I've got surf, surf Lady has not gone surfing before. She's always dancing at the front of the pub. I know, so that's weird. Okay, in the middle of all this energy, and I'm utterly not surprised to see it, is the hanged man. And the hanged man, it's a kind of a Piscean energy, but of course we are, you know, we've got Cancerian moon this weekend, it's good for introspection, it's good for working on yourself, it's good for quiet times. So all of that is very good, especially with the devil card, because the devil is to do with what is toxic? What binds you? What's in your life that's, as Wayne Dyer used to say, whispering on the breeze? Where is the echo in the cave? What can you hear? Something is whispering and it's getting louder, okay? We've got two aces here, which is fantastic. We've also got the ace of wands. zippity doo -dah. So this is waking up. It's like an awakening and an epiphany but it's all kept down by the hanged man, who's tamping it down into some treasure chest at the bottom of the sea and keeping the lid on. I know, but you can see bubbles. And you're like, I can see bubbles, I know something's down there. And then it gets much more kind of wholesome, which I'm very pleased to see, because this is quite a strong reading. We get the ace of, oh my God, we've got three aces. Yeah, we have. Nice. Get the Ace of Wheels or the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is something taking shape. Suddenly we see how this starts to matter, what it means. It takes form. It's practical. Do you remember we've been having quite a lot of readings about money, about survival, about making money, about investing money, about doing your boring taxes, having a financial overhaul. Sorry, I just lapsed into maths face then. Um, but yeah, it's been coming up a lot and here we are with the Ace of Pentacles. But I feel like that's much more positive. And then, the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is, again, the keeper of coins. It's money, it's influence. You could be the King of Pentacles, you could be receiving money, but it's money that comes from change and from the past in some way and comes from your awakening. You could be changing your fortunes. Often when we're changing our fortunes, we have no idea that we are changing our fortunes. We are just humans stumbling about Spirits in a human body and all that, stumbling about in the wrong size shoes, aren't we really? Let's have an oracle card from the Shaman's Dream Oracle, which is my favourite at the moment. I'm rather fond of it actually. 
I'm going to cut the deck. I can't shuffle that well today because my thumb is sore. It's not that one, but it's the one underneath. We get the Vanishing Mirror, Ego Sublimination. By gum, that's strong, isn't it? Either way, it's about taking apart our identity. I feel like that's what's happened to us over this retrograde. I think that's what it's been about. We identify with our image in the mirror. Sometimes we wish we, we didn't, if you know what I mean. Sometimes you catch sight of yourself and you say, who is that? God, I've got an eyelash in my eye now. Eyelash and a plaster. So it's about stripping back the identity. Now this, of course, is philosophical work, it's existentialist work. It's what we've got going on with this kind of realization that there are bubbles coming up from that chest and we can see them, but at the same time, all is not yet with us. We haven't got all the facts, all the information, and it's not facts like two plus two equals four, it's just weird wavy facts intuitions, all the things that you would associate with Neptune and the sea. Intuitions, dreams, hunches, awakenings. Gosh. So I would say over this weekend, the best thing is to just be quiet. Do what you want to do. Don't be people pleasing if you can help it. Um, do some homemaker things if you feel like doing that. If you want to go out, probably better to be in smaller, more familiar groups because that's Cancerian energy. Um, than bigger groups but you know hey stuff it if you're invited to a party don't say no let me know in the comment section um, how you have subverted mercury retrograde like I did with my stand mixer that doesn't reach the plug and I'll see you tomorrow namaste